guys, we are at the Omni Shoreham um, Hotel in Washington, D.C. It is my bachelorette weekend, and we decided to get a hotel for the weekend. Um, and so we're at the Omni. They actually had a pretty good rate, and we actually got upgraded. We well, we were supposed to be in like the junior suite with two queen beds, but apparently they got, got sold out. And so we got bumped up to the king bed uh, suite. Not sure what it's actually called, but it's like a, a better room. Um, so it's room 580, and we're gonna take a little tour. So it's pretty big room. So it has, so the first thing you notice that it actually has bay windows, like look at this. It's, this is what I was like, holy crap about. Um, really beautiful hotel room. I mean, the view isn't like, like you're not looking at the Washington Monument or anything crazy, but um, you are close to the cathedral, I think. And you're, you're near a metro. So this is like the living area. Um, living room area so we got nice table nice chairs a desk area um, big couch that is actually a pull-out couch and if you call them they will actually set it up for you um, or I guess you can do it yourself whichever <laughs> and big screen TV some drawers not sure if this is a fridge oh you got your coffee Wolfgang Puck coffee. I don't know if that's related to Wolfgang, Wolfgang down at like Disney. And you got your teas, and you got your cups, your ice bucket. On this side, I wonder if it's a mini fridge. Yep, mini fridge. It says this cooler is intended for short term use to keep beverages cool. Please do not use a refrigerator. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, another drawer. Um, I'll show you this closet because it's actually a pretty big closet. So it's actually kind of a walk-in closet and you got your safe if you need a safe. And it's lidded, lighted, lidded or lighted. <laughs> and then here's your bedroom area. It's a king bed. Very nice. Another window and another big screen TV with more drawers. I wonder if they have anything in here. No, it's just storage space. But yeah, I mean, incredible room. We haven't slept in the bed. We just checked in a few minutes ago. But it feels like a comfortable bed. Oh, in here. And you look at like this detail. It's like these old antique um, doorknobs. And then another lighted, um, I mean, walk in closet. This one does not have a light though. Extra pillow, blanket, more hangers. If you need to have anything pressed or laundered, they have that service. And then here's the bathroom, which I haven't been in yet. Really super nice wallpaper, really like it. And then decent sized bathroom. And comes with a bath and shower. And you got your toiletries, shampoo, conditioner, Shampoo, conditioner, and bath soap. A nice full-size mirror. You got your soap and stuff like that. Bathroom. Doesn't seem like it has tons of toiletries. You do have body cream. And, oh, you have a little toiletry. Q-tips and cotton balls. And some glasses. So yeah, I mean, it's a pretty, pretty spacious room. I think this is the, yep, it's a blow dryer. So very nicely, very nice hotel room. 
So yeah, so this is going to be home for just a day. We're only here until tomorrow. Um, we're going out to eat. So um, at a place called Perry's, they have a drag queen brunch. Um, so and it's about a mile from here. But apparently there's like a lot of like a lot of other eateries around here. But we're we're just sticking to hotel stuff because um, we're tired and we just want to relax and kick back and have like a little mini girls at um, night out. Two of my bridesmaids are here, and the other few are coming tomorrow. So until next time, I hope you guys enjoy this room, tier, room tour. Um, please subscribe, like the video, and have you ever been to DC? And if you have, where are your favorite places to stay um, when, you tr when you travel into DC? Me being a DC native, I don't really go to that many DC hotels. I have been to a few, uh, but yeah, so I will see you guys later. I know, it smells nice and fresh. So this is like a two bedroom apartment, basically. Oh, no, you can talk. It doesn't matter. I'll just edit out what I need to. <laughs> I can turn the lights on, too, if you... Oh, okay. Ooh. Well, she's the ghost buff. Are you afraid to leave the front door? No. <laughs> Oh, so it has a kitchen too. So have you ever sensed anything or felt anything? Uh, I actually gave a tour to some people last week. They were paranormal people uh -huh. from Texas and they do a podcast and I mean they didn't necessarily feel it. We weren't in here very long, but they were yeah. so intrigued about this room. Like they actually did homework about it before they came. Oh wow. And they visit other hotels that are supposedly haunted and Well she works at a haunted well, it wasn't a hotel, it's a it's a plantation. Yeah, it's super duper. Where? Oh, we're a plantation. Oh, yeah, that's ancient stuff. <laughs> I've been to the Driscoll in Austin, that's haunted too. But the Driscoll, is that another hotel? Yeah. In downtown Austin on 6th Street. So this is one of the bedrooms that does have its own bathroom and a closet oh. around the corner, but this is the nicer bedroom, it has a way nicer bathroom. <laughs> I mean, this is a pretty nice bathroom. I know, right? I mean, he said the other one has a nicer one. I'm well, like, we dang. Go see that I nicer know, right? Room. We have to go see now. This is the master bedroom? Yeah. He said this is the master bedroom. It looks like a master bedroom to me. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay. You guys are not on this side. In the bathroom, I like this. Oh, sorry. Actually, I took a picture. I'm going to show you. I took a picture kind of like that when I was driving to work the other morning. Oh, I stopped yeah. on, oh, wow. on the National Mall right at 15th Street, and I took a picture of the walking line. It was like these right? Oh, that's nice. It was like so perfect, man. Like. I was in Alexandria and um, I got a stupid reflection from the inside of the train, the, the big purple sky. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, is the sky really nice today? Yeah, the sun's setting out kind of out there in the distance. We can go out the balcony if you want. Oh, there's a balcony? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, there is. I saw it. <laughs> they don't rent this room every night. This is kind of a if they get into a bind with rooms or if there's, you know, VIP or dignitary or. Yeah, they talk about like the airline. Yeah, sometimes yeah. when we get tight, we'll put them, because we can put two in here, because there's two rooms as opposed to two hotel rooms. Yeah. And then they sell those rooms. Oh, is there a wedding downstairs? Yes. <laughs> oh, I think we did see the bride, I think. Yes, we did. I think the wedding is actually off property, but they're coming back for the cocktail hour and the uh, um, dinner and dancing and all of that. Yeah, that's why I picked a venue that had everything. I did not want to do all that. Holy heck. So yeah, they're going to have an outdoor reception, outdoor cocktail hour. I would imagine everyone oh, nice. going to be puddled under those heaters. Everybody's oh, going to be freezing. Yeah. <laughs> you know. But look at this view. It's so that nice. tower right there is the Islamic Center. Oh, okay. Kind of the point right there. And those big, big tall buildings in the back are Rosalind. 
oh. building over there with all the windows, the square windows, that's the Italian embassy. It's right on the corner of Whitehaven Street at the end of that block, which is a dead end. The Clintons have a house there. Oh. Um, right in this neighborhood here, you can see a couple of rooftops through the trees right here. Mm -hmm. That's the Obama's neighborhood. I don't know which house this is exactly, but um, the Obamas live there. Jeff Bezos has a house, two houses in there. Um, Ivanka Trump has a house in there. Rex Tillerson used to live there. I'm not sure if he's still there since he's no longer <laughs> no longer uh, uh, government. <laughs> uh, per se. Um, hey guys, so just some last minute thoughts about the Omni Shoreham Hotel. It was actually really awesome. Um, we just spent the weekend uh, mostly in the room <laughs> watching uh, the TV. It actually, like, if you have a Google uh, Chromecast, it actually, you can watch your own movies on the TVs here. Um, the bed was actually pretty comfortable. I, I really liked it. Um, I had, like, one of the best nights of sleep that I've had in a long time. It's a very firm mattress, um, but I, I liked it. Um, we, the, the restaurant, the regular restaurant was closed, I think because they had, like, two big special events like they seem to have a big wedding and they also had like two mini conventions going on so i think one of the events had the the, res the restaurant sort of uh, booked up but we ended up eating at the marquee lounge which was actually pretty good um good service in there and good food um so yeah i mean i think this is actually a really good choice if you want to have um be in dc um like pretty much all the staff have been super nice and super friendly and yeah, so I definitely would recommend it if you are planning a DC vacation. Um, I mean, this room is absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, so with that, I hope you like and subscribe to the channel and I'll talk to you guys later, bye.